hello everyone so welcome once again to my channel so today we're going to be making this piece so if you want to learn how to make this just keep on watching and please if you're a newbies subscribe to my channel and watch to the end of this video so you don't miss any details so let's get straight to the tutorial so the first thing first is i'll be using the pattern to draft the trousers so i'll use this um gold um it's actually a gold um lacquer material to make the down parts so this is um two yards but it's too much i'm going to be needing one, so it's not much then the flowering material is two and a half yards so you will need three yards if you are using the same prints for the hand so i'm not using the same prints that was i used 2.5 yards two and a half yards so this is the elastic i'll be using for the trouser so you can use um the um wider elastic or this shorter one that has one inches this one is 1.5 inches is the bigger um, longer and bigger size so i'll be using this one that is one inches width that one is better so let's get straight to the drafting so first thing first is to so remember i'll be using elastic so i'm going to leave like um since the elastic is one inches so i'll be leaving 2.5 um 2.5 um, distance or from the beginning i'll just take 2.5 so that's where i'll be starting this drafting so by the time i fold i'll be able to insert the elastic into that space so just place it in between like so so it will be easy for me so i will come down by 2.5 inches so that's 2.5 inches i'm coming down from will be the starting line so i'm just testing it to see how it's going to be on the fabric so i'll just check to cross check and see the one inches fits properly plus there's a little spacing which will be for the weaving and for the sewing so that's why i left more um 2.5 inches i came down by 2.5 inches so this 2.5 inches i came down from will be the starting line when i'll where i'll take my from my waist to my crotch from my waist to my hip so from the waist to the full length so that will be the starting line so i'm just going to come down by two inches so i'll mark this as my starting line then i'll take my hip measurements my hip from my waist to my hip is eight inches so i'm just going to take that down and then rule a line then after ruling the line i'm going to label this so i don't make mistake or get confused along the line so i'm just going to rule a line straight line like so then label this so i don't make mistake this is the waist. We are not going to be using the waist for this measurement. If you use the waist, it will be tight on you when you are when you want to wear it. It will be very tight on you. So to get the crotch line, I'm going to divide my waist divide by four, then minus one inches from that. My waist is ten inches divided by four. Forty inches divided by four is going to give me ten. So I'm just going to mark that. I added the one inches sewing allowance, but don't do this. Just mark exact um your exact um crotch measurement you got so i'm just going to mark this and label it my crotch depth so i'm just going to rule a line and then label as cl which will be the crotch line so next is to shaping this even if it's a straight and a tight and short you still need to have a shape even if you're using elastic you should have a shape so for my length i'll be using um, f um 17 inches but later on i changed it to 14 inches because i found out the 17 inches was too long so i um trimmed it out and made it 14 inches which was short and a bit sexy you can even make it shorter than that you can make it 12 you can make it um i think the shorter the shorts the like uh, the side of the the side of the uh, flare will be open so you need to make it short so at that waist or that waistline i'm going to go inwards by half an inch and i'm going to connect this line to my hip 
line so i'll be using my hip curve to do this so i can get a very nice shape at that point so even if you're using elastic you still need to make it um, make it shapey you can just make it straight because you know the hip is not um, the uh, hip side is not straight is um curved so i'm just going to use my hip curve to do this even if i'm not using elastic so next is for me to take my hip measurements i'm going to take my hip measurement at that waist part like i said before if you use your waist you're going to have problem you won't be able to wear it so it's not going to fit so this elastic is what is going to be your exact waist measurement so at this waist point mark your hip measurement mine is 40 40 divided by 4 is going to give me 10 you don't need to add any sewing allowance to this at all you don't need it you don't need this because the lacquer material is stretchy and you want your shorts to be very tight because that's where the beauty is if it's free it's not going to be looking sexy so i did not add any sewing allowance to it because i want it to be very tight so at that crotch point there are two things you can do at that um, crotch line you can just extend it by two inches or you just take your exact hip um sorry your exact your exact um tie measurement then you add half inches sewing allowance so mine is 25 25 divided by 2 which was 12 so i'm just going to place that 12 then i added half an inch sewing allowance so another thing you can do is just from that crotch line just extend it by two inches that will also work fine so you can see it's a stretchy material so you don't need to add allowance to this because you want that um, shot to be very sexy and um, nice the tighter the the shot is the sexier the style the sexier the style so i'm just going to mark my my crotch line like so and then i create my curve so after doing that i'm just going to take my hip again so i can sorry my tie measurements again like i did on the paper so i'm just going to find the midpoint i'm finding the midpoint because i want to shape the down part of this um tights if you make it straight like so it's going to be free like two bogus so you need to shape it so the tighter this down part is the better for this style so i'm just going to mark it straight first to first for show you how it sees so if i mark it straight like then i cut that down part will be so free so that's why i need to find the midpoint of this tie um tie line so when i found the midpoint i'm just going to mark it and draw it straight down to the end line as you can see me doing in the video so i found the midpoint then i'll connect it to the end line like so so now we can shape in it so what you do in this part is the down part of your tie the lower part you know there's a short um is a short um is a very short tight so you're going to measure that part and divide it by two so the number you get you divide it also by two just the way you do your new you take your new measurement when you're taking trousers so that's what you use for the tie side so you divide it by two the number you get after getting that number you also divide it by two like example i got 19 19 divided by two is nine nine also you also divided by two which gave me 4.5 so i added one inches or half inches sorry so in allowance so i'm going to use my hip curve to shaping this out so you can see so if you want it tighter than this you can minus one inches from your from the results you get for example if you got um five inches you can remove one inches to make it four inches so this will make the down part to be very tight and firm so the back and the front are same thing so there's no much difference so i'm just going to cut the back and the front together so this is the back and the front i've already cut out so i'm just going to hold the crotch area so i can sew so i'm going to sew the crotch area like so and take it to the sewing machine to do that so after sewing the back and the front together i'm going to join the crotch area together so two for the front two for the back so you join the two together and then after joining the two together you join the crotches of the back and front right side facing right side so you take it to the sewing machine and run a stitch 
to hold the two together so i'm going to use my pin to secure this first so after sewing the crotch area and the sides of the back and the front together this is how it's going to look so next for us to insert our elastic so i'm going to take my exact crotch sorry my exact waist measurement remember we use the hips to draft this so for this elastic you're going to be using your exact waist so i'm just going to show you how i'm going to do this so you just fold it like this when you are sewing before you will now use your you leave like um half inch sewing allowance at that point you leave half inch to the right hand side leave half inch to the left hand side so that's like an opening where you pass the the elastic into the casing you are, you've created so i'm just showing you how it's going to be done and i'm going to sew it like so so i'll take it to the sewing machine to run a stitch and fold it but these edges make sure you weave these edges part first before inserting your elastic into it so that place we need so you're just going to insect your insect it like so as you can see me doing in the video so you just pass it into the opening you left like so so let's go to sewing machine and sew it so after sewing this is how it's going to look you can see i left um half inch opening that we used to pass the elastic into the casing so this is how i'm going to do it i'm just going to use the pin to pass the elastic so just watch closely as i do it so i'm done passing it so i'm just going to hold these two sides together and seal it with a stitch run it back and front so that part will be properly secured so i'll take it to the sewing machine to do that this is how it's going to look when i'm done you can see it's already forming so this is it after closing the opening and inserting the elastic into the opening so this is how it's going to look so we are done with this part so this is the part one of this video so the part two will be for the upper part so the second video is in the description box so please click the link to watch the second video